hello everyone welcome back or welcome to my channel so it's been a little bit since i've done like a sit down kind of video for you guys and this video is very highly requested so i thought it would be really cool to go ahead and uh, do something in a vibe sort of like this um so basically today's video will be about newborn must-haves <laughs> that I posted on my channel that I would highly recommend um, using when you have a newborn that helped my life be a lot easier so let's go ahead and get right into the video okay so first starting off um, a lot of these products are way too big to put into the frame so a majority of them I'll either have a picture up here or I will um, kind of just describe it as best as I can uh, so first my first product is going to be a baby car seat canopy so this one is very wrinkled actually because we're using a different one right now but um, this is honestly my best friend um, I really like these really just because uh, mainly with the pandemic and everything going on right now you know your baby can't really wear a mask so um, it made me feel a lot more comfortable just knowing that she was kind of covered up and away from everything um, I did try to keep her in the house as long as possible uh, just because of everything that was kind of going on I had bad nerves and yeah but this car seat canopy really helped me um, as far as like going out to eat going out on walks and things like that next i have the <clears throat> the mommy's bliss saline mist um ava used to get boogers well she still does uh get boogers pretty bad um she used to kind of have like a stuffy nose sometimes so i was actually using the freedom mom solution at first but i didn't really like it as much as i like this one this one is way more effective and lasts way longer i probably went through the freedom mom solution literally in a month or so and i had to Buy another one so this one I've, I've been using for over a month and I definitely recommend this one over using the freedom moms so getting into freedom moms next I would suggest the nose Frida um, so as you guys know at the hospital they kind of give you those na the nasal aspirators um, those are cool and all and honestly I am not really familiar with knowing how to work it so I did try but it does not get as much of the snot and everything out um, as the nose Frida does. I really do like it just because Ava actually kind of lets me clean her nose without really fussing as much versus the nasal aspirator. She doesn't really like it, I think, because it goes fully inside of her nose. I'm not sure, but that's um, definitely one of my staples when Ava has a stuffy nose. It's a lot easier to use than the little bulbs. Um, next, I would say a tummy time mat. So the tummy time mat that I have is actually by Fisher Price and um it looks like this i'm obviously not going to open it but it has some little activities up here for the baby to do um your doctor recommends tummy time starting very early just so your baby can start working on their neck strength and um, strengthen their arms things like that and ava really hated tummy time so honestly i really didn't use this until she was over about three months um, I used to do tummy time with her a little bit, but a uh, majority of the time she would kind of fuss it in about five minutes. So this I started using, like I said, at around three months and she really did like it around that time because she could actually see inside the mirror, play with the toys above her, you know, things like that. Um, my next product, I would definitely say if you're breastfeeding to get a breastfeeding pillow. So majority of the pillows obviously are boppies. Um, I found a similar pillow um, which I got from Ross at about 12 to $15. Um, so I wanted the Boppy originally, but seeing how expensive it was, um, and then I saw this alternative, I went ahead and got the alternative. It's the exact same thing, fits the exact same. Put it here, feed baby however you want, cradle, football, <laughs> however. But this has been um, one of my faves since she was born. I still use it to this day. Um, as you guys know, I've been breastfeeding for, well, it was now seven months. I've been breastfeeding 
completely for that full seven months. So this um, has really helped me to kind of have a, a good position. Um, but honestly, I don't really need it as much because I use the rocking chair now when I feed her and that kind of has an armrest. As long as you have something to support your arm and support the weight of the baby, because Lord, yeah, they, they get heavy, they get heavy. <laughs> okay, so next, something that I would say is super duper important. Um, whether you have a newborn, baby in general, toddler, whatever, is a really big diaper bag. So this diaper bag, I was actually gifted off of my registry. Obviously, it's full of stuff, <laughs> but um, this diaper bag has a lot of compartments, has insulated pockets in the front for milk bags or bottles, has pockets on the side for your cups, um, even has a pocket here for pacifiers, things like that. Um, so I've been using this diaper bag since Ava was born. Well, actually, you guys know I did a review for a Kia Babies diaper bag. We used that one for a little while and then just kind of switched over. No problem, but I kind of just like to switch things up. Um, but this one has become a staple. I can fit literally every single thing that I need inside of this diaper bag. Snacks, blankets, burp cloths, bibs, exchanges of clothes, my breastfeeding cover here, and then I keep my wipes here on the side. It has a little wipe opening so you can grab the wipes out. Um, very, very cool diaper bag. I do like the, the backpack style diaper bags um, instead of the on your arm just because carrying a car seat, a diaper bag, and anything else that you need to carry for you is a lot to lug around so um i feel like this is really cool to kind of help you concise on some things i use this as a purse i don't even use purse i put my wallet in here my phone in here everything honestly you'll learn that as a mom purses don't exist anymore honey <laughs> so next um my favorite so far i would say is the fisher price sit me up seats and a lot of you guys have commented on this seat um, and said that you bought it for your child yourself, which I really love. Um, but actually this chair was purchased for me um, as a baby shower gift as well. And I was not able to use this until Ava could kind of, I guess I would say sit herself up without kind of falling to the side. Um, just because if your baby still has a wobbly head, you don't want to use this because they can't support their neck yet. Um, so I probably would say I use this starting at about three or four months maybe no no older than about four months i would say four months um and the reason i really like this chair is because um it has some little teething toys here on here that she can play with and then it obviously she can sit up in it if they can't fully sit up by themselves and it kind of helps them to gain the strength to sit up by themselves so this is one of my faves for sure my next product that I will definitely recommend, um, I'll actually insert a picture here because it is a little big, is the, uh, what is it? It's a Graco, the Graco Swing. I have to, I can't think of the name right now, but I actually went and found the whole entire line. And so I have the Graco Swing with the matching bouncer, with the matching playpen. So anyway, I just went ahead and found the, um, the whole set because I wanted everything to match. Oh, and the um, high chair. Um, so, oh yeah, I'm getting stuck. I forgot what I was about to say. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, the swing I use from newborn, like literally the day she got home all the way up until now, sometimes we still put her in there. Um, even though she is a little bit bigger, you know, now she's kind of moving around. She is an active baby, but she's not one of the babies that'll try to like jump out of stuff. So we put the seatbelt on her now and she uses it now. Um, she's seven months, so that should tell you something. It's very, um, it's very long lasting, I would say. A lot of YouTubers that I've seen, they purchased the uh, four mom swing and their baby didn't like it and they ended up switching over to this swing. So I would definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, so next, um, I feel like I have something that I'm missing. Oh, her cool mist humidifier. So basically, um, I used to keep the fan on in the room and sometimes she would kind of get a stuffy nose. So we use the cool mist humidifier um, to kind of clear out her nasal passages. So I, um, it's like a cloud shape and basically the cool mist kind of comes out of the top. It's really, really, really nice. Um, and it's also a lamp. So it's actually in her room, which is why I can't really show y'all right now. Um, I think she's waking up. Y'all, she sleeps so wild, just flipping, turning, and all kind of stuff. Um, oh, excuse me, I had um, 
put some things down on my iPad so I wouldn't forget. Um, so the next thing that I have are baby swaddles. Um, I actually gave the majority of these away um, since Ava can't really use them anymore. But she does have a swaddle right now that she uses, which is the Love to Dream. Um, and the arms come out, so she's using the um, arms free swaddle right now. So she's flipping and turning, things like that. Um, but I really do love this swaddle just because it was an arms up swaddle, so she would sleep like this. It did take her a very long time to get used to it, uh, just because she was so used to the swaddle with her arms to her side. Um, so once I did kind of transition to her, sorry, transition her to that swaddle, she um, didn't really sleep well for the first few nights. And then once she kind of got used to it, then it wasn't as bad. Um, next, I would say is for a baby body wash. Uh, for the beginning portion of Ava's um, life, I guess I would say, I used Johnson & Johnson and her skin was super, super duper sensitive to Johnson & Johnson, which I've heard uh, from a lot of moms just because Johnson & Johnson has so many perfumes. Um, so I actually switched over to Dove, which is hyperallergenic. Um, so I used Baby Dove and the Baby Dove lotion to go with it, and that has done a lot better with her skin. Uh, let's see. Another thing that I would really say, um, Ava struggled really bad with cradle cap in the beginning. And um, what I used to do is I took this tip from my doctor. She told us to get one of the baby's um, towels and basically kind of softly rub where the cradle cap was to kind of get it to lift. Um, and then I used that along with um, a coconut oil hair grease on Ava's hair. Y'all might be looking at me like, I know you didn't use a hair grease on baby's hair, but it's a very, very gentle hair grease. Um, I use it on my hair also. I didn't really like oil her scalp, but I would kind of take like a little bit, put it in my hand, kind of rub it, and then kind of really just get it in the areas where the cradle cap was like really bad. But it probably cleared up around five months or so. Um, and I think that that really helped. All right, you guys, so Ava just woke up. So I just wanted to show y'all the Love to Dream swaddle with the arms out. So it looks like this. Um, it has a zipper coming from the top and a zipper going from the bottom to help out with diaper changes in the middle of the night, which I love. Um, so as you guys can see, it does not have any arms. The arms are zippered and I've taken the zippers off so Ava can kind of toss and turn as she wants as she sleeps. Um, one more very important thing that I forgot is my boba wrap. I'm sitting here like, what else is it? The boba wrap was my favorite, okay? I use this thing every single day, cleaning, cooking, just to hold her in general, going on walks, things like that. Obviously now she is a little bit heavier so um this is a lot on your back because this is a lot on your front <laughs> so i would definitely recommend using this i guess i would say in their sweet spot around zero to like five months because at that six month point that's when they want to kick around move a lot Hello. yes mm -hmm. so it's very hard to kind of use as they get older but um honestly i do believe that that is pretty much it um if I can think of any other products that I forgot about, I will definitely put them down in the description box below. What are you looking at? Okay. I will definitely put them in the description box below. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Say bye-bye.